Hello and welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel and I gotta tell you, I am struggling. We are in the dead of winter, it's cold, it's gray out, I need something to lift my spirits. Normally this time of year I reach for something brown and boozy like a Manhattan or an old fashioned, but I don't think that's gonna do the trick. Let's try something new. We're making the Weathered Axe from Danny Shapiro at Chicago Scofflaw. We're starting with three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Next up is half an ounce of ginger syrup. I'll link to a recipe for how to make this below, but this is basically just raw ginger cooked on your stove top with sugar and water. It adds sweetness with a nice spicy ginger kick. Next up is half an ounce of Cokie Americano, which is a white wine aperitif. This is going to add an herbal orangey flavor to our drink. Next, the recipe calls for half an ounce of Combier, which is an orange liqueur. I'm gonna go with dry curacao, which I think will be an okay substitute. And finally, an ounce and a half of bourbon. I'm using Wild Turkey 101, which is a great mixing bourbon. Let's add ice to our tin and give it a shake. I'm straining this one over a big ice cube. And we're going to garnish with a sprig of rosemary. At Scofflaw, in the summer, they serve this with a mint garnish. But when it's cold out, rosemary is the name of the game. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. That's delicious. A super complex cocktail with many different layers of flavor. You get the rosemary as soon as you raise the glass. I'm getting bright citrus notes from the lemon juice as well as the curacao and the coqui americano. The bourbon is nice here and plays really well with the ginger syrup, adding a spicy backbone to it. I can't help but wonder how this would taste with scotch though. I think the smokiness of the scotch would go great with the ginger. So let's give that a try. I'm gonna zip through the first few ingredients since you've already seen those. And we're gonna pause here and add two ounces of scotch. This is a pretty mild scotch. It's going to give us some peaty flavor, but it's not going to overpower the rest of the drink. I'm also upping it to two full ounces because this is an 80 proof scotch, unlike the 100 proof bourbon we used in the original. I don't want it to get lost in the other ingredients. And we're gonna pause here to buzz in the delivery man. Thank you. All right, let's give that a try. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Sink. You can probably tell by my live reaction that I'm really digging this. The smokiness from the scotch pairs so well with the citrus and the ginger here. I like this a lot with the bourbon, but I love it with the scotch. All right, there you have it. The weathered ax made with bourbon and my ax made with scotch. Both delicious and great any time of the year. I'm feeling better already. Why don't you give these a try and let me know which one you like better in the comments below. Cheers.